All right, hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to another video. So, uh, if you guys have been trying to follow my passporting tutorial, you've probably noticed that F model is having some issues. It's not completely broken, but we're getting some errors here and there, and a lot of crashes. Um, so unfortunately, we don't have an F model fix, but we do have an alternative, U model. You guys might remember U model. Use it in our past tutorials. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to the first thing in the description. That'll take you to the U model download. You can just click right here, and this will download the file. All right, so here we have our file. I'm going to open this, and then I can just drag this folder wherever I'd like. So I'll just stick it up here, and then I'll close out of this, and then you can delete your zip. And once we're in here, we just want to open up umodel64.exe. All right, once in here, we want to navigate to our Fortnite packs folder. So to do that, we click on these three dots, and then we need to find our packs folder, which is usually gonna be in your C drive and then program files and then you're going to scroll down to epic games and then fortnite and then fortnite game and then content and then packs all right when you're in here press select folder all right once you've done that press override game detection then click right here press unreal engine 4 and click right here and press unreal engine 4.28 all right once you've done that press ok next it's going to ask you for an aes key now for this, what you want to do is go to the second link in the description and join my Discord server. Alright, once in my Discord server, you want to head over to the AES key channel, and then right here we have the AES key for the latest Fortnite version. I will be keeping this updated just so you guys know, so you can go to this and just find whichever one is the latest at the time. So I'm just going to copy this whole string of numbers and letters, and then Control C. I'm going to head back into UModel, and then right here I'm just going to paste this. Make sure there's no spaces after or anything, and then you just want to press OK. Then it's going to load for a minute. All right, and here we are in U models. So this is a little bit small, so what I recommend doing is making this a, just a bit bigger. Okay, so once we've gotten the screen, we want to head back into our Discord, and now from here you want to figure out which skin you want to port. So head over into the commands channel, and then you just want to figure out whichever skin you're planning on porting. So for this tutorial, I'll be doing Doctor Strange since that's one of the newer skins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go CID. This is for character ID. And then I'm going to type in Doctor Strange. And I'm just going to press enter. And this is going to come up right here. Now, as you can see, this also works with back blings, weapons, pickaxes, emotes. Uh, yeah, you can do it with pretty much everything. You can also do glider ID if you want. So here we have everything so here you can see everything for the Doctor Strange skin. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, just do Control C, head back into U model, and I'm just going to paste this into the filter and then press flat view. And now you can see you have all of these right here. You can click on any of these that you want. I'm just going to click on the top one and then turn off flat view. And it's going to take you straight to this folder right here. Basically, what you want to do is export this whole folder right here. So I'm going to right click and then press export folder content. And then I'm going to select where I want it to go, which is going to be my porting folder over here. And then I'm just going to press select folder. You can make this any folder you want, just so you know. All right, now this part's optional. I'm just going to set this to PNG just so it makes the files easier to preview. You don't have to make this PNG. You can keep it TGA. I'm just going to keep it PNG though. And then you can press OK. All right, next we're gonna go back into Discord and we just wanna export each thing in this list. So I'm gonna go back in here, paste this in, flat view. And there's a lot of stuff here. So what we're looking for is the body. So you can see here, this is in the bodies folder. So I can just click on this and then press flat view. And then here we have this, we can right click, press export folder content, press okay. And then you can see there's a face accessory as well. Now most likely this face accessory is gonna be under the meshes folder and then inside parts. And you can see here's the face accessory. So we already exported this whole folder, so we already have a face accessory. All right, the next thing you wanna do is go to the third link in the description and go to blender.org. So then you wanna press download Blender. I already have Blender, so I'm not gonna go through the whole installation thing. It's pretty standard for when it comes to installation. All right, once you've downloaded that, you wanna head over to the fourth link in the description. That'll take you to this GitHub page right here. So then you wanna go over to Tags, and then you wanna click on whichever one's the latest one, which is this 2.8.3. I'm gonna click right here, and then I'm going to click on this right here. That's gonna ask you where you wanna save this. I'm just gonna press right here, save it to my downloads folder. All right, this is gonna download right here. All right, now you wanna open up Blender. So I'm just gonna open that up. 
All right, so once we are in Blender, we're going to delete these three objects, and then we're going to go to Edit Preferences. From here, we're going to go to Add-ons, and then we're going to press Install. Now we're going to find that Python file, which is right here, and then we can press Install Add-on. And then from here, if it doesn't automatically search it, you can search PSK, or just PS, and it'll come up right here. Now just make sure this has the check mark, just make sure it's enabled, and then you can close out of this. All right, from here, you want to go to File, Import, and then PSK. And now here, we need to find where we exported our stuff, so hopefully you created a folder for that. So mine is in my GFX folder, and then Porting, and then Fortnite, and then Game. And it's basically the same directory as in U-Model. So I'm just gonna go to Characters, Player, Mail, Medium, Bodies, and then I've already exported a lot, as you can see, but remember, Doctor Strange is called Mystic. So here we have Mystic. So I'm just going to open up meshes, and then we want to import this one without the LOD0. We want to import the one without that. So just this one right here, press import PSK. Then just so you know, it doesn't matter which order we import all of our PSKs in, so you can import these whatever order you want. So next I'm just going to import our face accessory right here. Alright, and then lastly, we need to import our head. So I'm going to go all the way out of here, and then into the heads folder and mystic head meshes and here it is all right now let's go ahead and zoom in now if you want to prevent your model from looking like a minecraft block all you need to do is select each of the meshes by shift left clicking and then right click and press shade smooth now you can see it looks much better all right now the first thing we're gonna do is connect the bones because right now these are all separated and it's not going to work correctly so the basic rule for connecting the bones and merging everything is you want to go top to bottom so i'm going to start with the bones so here are the bones right here so we want to start basically with the hair and go all the way down to the body so this is the hair right here i'm going to select this and i'm going to control click on the head and then i'm going to control click on the body so we got the body last you can see it's in that order then I'm gonna put my cursor over the viewport, which is just this whole thing right here. And I'm gonna press Control J on my keyboard. As you can see, it's now merged, okay? Now we're gonna do our meshes. So we need to click on the hair, and then the head, and then the body, in that order, top to bottom. And we're gonna press Control J. Now the meshes are merged, as well as the bones. But now we have three sets of duplicate bones, so we need to get rid of those. So to do that, we're going to open up this and then open up this AED and you can see we have two extra sets right here, 001 and 002. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in over here, basically to where the torso is. We want to find these bones in this area right here. Then we just want to click on them and then press tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode. Alternatively, you can click right here to just go into edit mode. And then we want to find any of these bones right here. It doesn't really matter. I just use the spine five bone so you can see here which bone we have selected. So now we want to find the duplicate one. The way to find that is just clicking it over and over until we found one of the duplicate ones. You can see if it's duplicated, if it has a 001 or a 002 or a 003, for example. All right, once we have one of them selected, we want to go to select, similar, and then suffix. All right, then we want to press X on our keyboard and press bones. Another way to delete the duplicate bones, which we'll use this example on the 002, is to just click right here and then press select, similar, and then suffix and press X to delete, and then press bones. All right, so that's all of our duplicate bones deleted. Now, we have to parent all of these extra bones, basically every bone besides root. We need to reparent these because they got detached while we were doing all of that. So there are a lot of face bones here, as you can see, and we don't know exactly where to parent these, or so I'm assuming you guys don't. So I made a little guide here, which basically shows where all of the facial bones go to, as you can see right here. So you can follow this to parent your stuff. So I'm gonna start with our face attached bone right here. This face attached bone goes to our head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this little bone tab right here. Make sure we have our bone selected. I'm gonna click relations and then parent and I'm gonna type in head. Press enter, you can see the bones disappeared now. So that means we have parented it. So now we have all of these hair bones right here. These also all go to head. So I'm just gonna parent these all to the head. All right, so now we have the teeth lower. By our guide, you can see that that goes to the C jaw. So I'm gonna type in C underscore jaw. All right, and then we have our tongue, which also goes to the C jaw. 
All right, and then all of our eye bones go to the head. All right, and then finally we have our last bone, which is teeth upper, which goes to the face attach. All right, once we only have root, we can just close this and then close this, go back into object mode. And here we have all the bones done. The way to test this is to click on the bones again and then press control tab this time to go into pose mode. I'm gonna select our rotate tool. I'm gonna click anywhere on one of these bones and I'm just gonna try rotating it. And as you can see here, it works perfectly. This is all correct looking if you ask me. All right, I'm just gonna go back into object mode now that we know our bones are working. All right, now for the texturing process. So I'm going to hide our bones by clicking on this eye right here because they are gonna be in the way while we're texturing. So what I'm going to do now is click on our mesh right here and then I'm going to go into the shader editor by clicking right here and then press shader editor. Next I'm going to click right here to go into viewport shading. Alright next I'm going to drag to open this up and we're going to click right here on this red circle and we can choose which one we want to texture first. So we have the cape, body, face accessory, or the head. So I'll just start with the cape because that's the first one there. So once you have this selected, I want to press use nodes and I'm going to zoom in a little bit right here. All right, and here we have our nodes. Now you want to go into the next link in the description which will download the FN shader. So to import your FN shader, you want to go to file, append, and then wherever you downloaded this. So I'll just go to where that is. So here we have it, the FN shader 1.5.blend. So I'm gonna double click this press node tree, and then F and advanced shader 1.5. All right, once you double click that, it has been appended. So what we wanna do now is delete this principal BSDF by selecting it and then pressing X to delete. Next, we're gonna press add, search, and then we're gonna type in FN, and there it is, FN shader 1.5. All right, we're gonna move this over here, and then we're just gonna connect this BSDF to surface. All right, now we need to import the textures. So that my opinion, the best way of doing this is to go to File Explorer, and then you want to go into the area where your files are exported. So that'd be my graphics, and then porting, and then Fortnite, and then game, and then characters, and then player, mail, oh jeez. And then player, and then mail, and then medium, and then bodies, and then finally mystic, and then textures. Now here we have a bunch of the textures for our Doctor Strange. So remember we're texturing the cape as you can see right here. So we're gonna find the cape textures. So here we have cape D, I'm just gonna drag this in. Cape FX, cape M, cape N, and cape S. All right, once we've dragged all these in, I'm gonna click off this and here we have our stuff. So as you can see here, these all end in different letters. We have D, N, S, M, and effects. Now notice on our shader over here, we have diffuse, mask, specular, and then normal, all right? And then the effects is goes to the sheen mask. I know that's a little bit different, but that's where that goes. So basically what we want to do is just connect our D right here to the diffuse. All right, now you can see it has color now. Look at that, amazing. So I like to keep my nodes organized. So what I like to do is close out of this and then drag it over here once I'm done with it. I'm just gonna do this in order. So our effects goes over down here to the sheen mask. So something a little bit different about M textures. M textures need to be set to linear instead of sRGB. So I'm gonna set this to linear right here. And then you wanna put this to mask. And now we have our N and S textures. These two both are set to non-color. So I'm gonna set both these to non-color. And then of course our N goes to normal map, and then our S goes to specular map. All right, and as you can see here, we have finished texturing our cape. That looks pretty awesome, okay. All right, let's move down the list to our body. So I'm gonna click on the body, press use notes, and I'm basically just gonna repeat that process with one minor change. So get everything connected like we did before, and then I will show you that. All right, so there's one thing we wanna change. Notice how the body has some skin on it right here with his hands, which for some reason do not have fingernails. That's kind of scary. So we're gonna go down to subsurface right here, and then we wanna set this number to anywhere between 0 0.02 and 0 0.04. So I prefer two or three just because I think that looks best. So I'm just gonna use two for this. 
Now you're probably not gonna notice much of a difference, but you can see right here, it made these a little bit redder. It just makes the skin look a little bit more realistic. All right, next I'm just gonna do the face accessory and head. I'm gonna speed these parts up because I don't think you guys need to see these again. All right, so the last thing you wanna do is if you're planning on saving this and reusing this model, you want to go to File, External Data, and then Automatically Pack Resources. And you wanna go back to File and then Save As and just save it as whatever you wanna call it. All right, so that's all for the tutorial. I hope it helped you guys. And of course, if you guys need any help, feel free to join my Discord where I and my staff, we are there to help you. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.